Hi, so Tommy Fury versus Jake Paul for the very first time again. Will it happen? I don't think so. Will it go on for ages? Will he sign a contract? Will this go on until at least December if the fight's supposed to be in January? I think so, but I still don't think it'll happen. The reason for it's this guy, John Fury. I think he has been the puppet master behind this entire thing, behind every single proposed fight. I don't think Tommy ever wanted it. Now, let's have a look right from the beginning. Originally, when the first fight uh, was going to happen, it was Tyson Fury that was calling him out online. It was John Fury that was doing a lot of talking. Uh, that all dropped out from this uh, bizarre injury, which may or may not have happened to Tommy. Um, the second fight, again, John Fury kicking off, Tyson Fury kicking off. Tommy Fury has to go along with it. And he drops out twice in that fight. Didn't happen. This time, what happened at the weekend at the Mayweather fight, um, Tommy was supposed to take on uh, Paul Bamber. Uh, I still don't believe uh, what happened in that. I don't believe that there was two different weight classes. I don't believe that that could possibly be sanctioned. I don't believe that the contract that they're supposed to be showing us when they get home wasn't there at the fight. Or even the promotion didn't have it. I don't believe any of it. Um, but I do think that John Fury has pulled the strings from the beginning on this. I don't think he has the confidence that Tommy can make it as a professional boxer like his brother, his uncle, and so on. I don't think John Fury genuinely believes in him. So he's pushing him into the celebrity world where he can make a bit of money, and so can John Fury too. I think he's throwing him to the Lions. Um, I, I genuinely think that he's just trying to make him a few quid. Is he doing that with uh, the, from the goodness of his own heart? Is he trying to make his son a little bit of money where he knows he can't make it in boxing? Maybe so. Maybe I'm being a little bit hard on the guy. Maybe he's got his son's, uh, his son fu his son's future at, at the heart of this. But either way, we can't trust him. We cannot trust John Fury. Um, let's just have a look at what he said in the past. Uh, he talks about what a fighter he is. Uh, I was a street fighter. He makes out that he's had this hundred grand bare knuckle fight with an Irishman over in Ireland, but he can't remember the name of the guy. How do you not remember the name of the guy that's putting up hundred grand? Give of her. Never happened. All this other stuff. He talks about how he's a fighting man, how he's, he's fought all his life. Let's have a look at his record. Let's have, let's have a brief look. Eight and four. He's only ever knocked out one guy and he's been knocked out twice himself. So, you know, he, he was talking the other day uh, about how uh, he'd tear Jake Paul's arms off. He said how he would pull lumps of flesh out of him. He's generally been an awful, awful person about this. He's been awful. It's not what we like to see in boxing. Uh, it is, you know, sadly it is entertaining and people are going to watch it. I've watched it. I'm going to hold my hand up and say that. But I don't really want it in boxing. I don't want boxing to be thought of like this. Um he said that he is a fighting man, he would do this, that and the other to Jake Paul and any man that knows him knows that he's a street fighter and when he fights he goes out to kill. He will kill you and you have to be ready to, to, to do the same to him. However, he's never killed anyone. I thought you were a fighting man. If your outcome is that, your, your desired outcome is that you're going to kill him at the time and you've never actually done it, that's even less successful than your boxing career. However... He did go to prison for some pretty nasty stuff. He uh, he went to uh, he tried to gouge a guy's eyes out. Uh, this is what the what the guy had to say about it. It's awful. This is not a guy we should be praising. This guy's a criminal. Um, he's not allowed in America because of his connections with bad people. Neither's neither Tyson. Um, but yeah, this guy's genuinely assault people. And from the story goes that this were over a bottle of beer and all um, to further. Things in this, he, he he had to lie about that as well. You can see him on uh, line numerous times saying, oh yeah, I did 12 years in prison. I did 12 years in prison. Really? Because you got sent down in 2011, which means you're getting out next year. <laughs> yeah, um, it's, it's not even on the cards that this is true. I mean, the fact is he did get sent down for 11. I don't know why I keep saying 12. Uh, and he did four. He was out for uh, Tyson's reign in 2015. It's not nice what he did. It's not something he should be bragging about. And why he's lying and embellishing it to make it worse, I don't know. But we can't trust the word this guy says. We can't trust what he says about Tommy. Nothing he says seems to be true. He seems to be just 
just out of his mind. Honestly, I feel for the guy. I think this, he, there might be, you know, other issues there that we don't know about. And, uh, you know, if there is, then uh, God bless him. I hope he, uh, I, I hope he gets through it. But uh, he talks nonsense continuously, uh, more so than Tyson does. You know, Tyson is a phenomenal boxer, unlike Tommy, unlike uh, unlike John. But honestly, it's genuinely concerning. It really is the amount that he gets caught out lying, which makes me even more so believe that none of this with Tommy is true. The fight of the weekend that got called off, planned from the beginning. Uh, oh, and I look at the weight. He kept saying. It, there was seven pounds out from what Paul Bamber said that the contract says, and he's going, "Oh, it's only two or three pound, and we were only a pound over." No, you're only a pound over what you said. Note that Tommy weighed in with his shoes on, by the way. T uh, John said, "Oh yeah, when ounces matter." He, he weighed in with his shoes on. He didn't care what it said. I think that they knew from the beginning that they were getting someone else. I, th for a start, what's this uh, Rolly Lambert doing? knocking around that close to the arena with his custom fight shorts. He does, does he wear them under his jeans constantly so he can rip them off like Superman in case he wants to pretend to fight someone like he did at the weekend? Honestly, all this with the celebrity boxing, I think that Tommy should just hang up this silly, silly routine he's doing and um, embrace the fact he's a celebrity boxer. If he starts going, I'm a celebrity boxer, I want to fight uh, the top of celebrity boxing, your Jake Pauls, your KSIs, etc. I'd have a lot more respect for him. But he keeps saying that he is a real boxer, he's a real this, he's a real that. I've been in the ring with real boxers. Okay, let's have a look at his opponent record. You tell me if this is a serious boxer. Here you go. Which one of these is the serious boxers that he's took on that's more dangerous than Anderson Silver and Tyrone Woodley and Ben Askren? Is it the guy with over 100 losses? Is it the guy that in 28 fights he didn't win any? Is it the guy that in 28 fights only won two? Is it these other guys that have never won? Which one is it? Who's your fighting man? The guy at the top's got an okay record, but no one had ever heard of him. He, he, he was on a... Uh, um, he'd, he'd fought people that we hadn't heard of and you know good good, good for him I'm not knocking that guy whatsoever um, or any of these other guys they're getting in the ring but don't make out you're fighting way 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 better than Jake Paul because you're not you haven't fought the calibre of fighter he's fought yes they're not all professional boxers although some of them have had professional boxing fights but they are more serious combat athletes than anyone that he's got in the ring with, including this lad at the weekend that showed himself up in this uh, pretend dance around. You're not Floyd Mayweather. He could dance around and act like a prat because that's what we paid to watch him do. And we did. We knew what was coming. And, you know, that's what this, uh, this exhibition tour has been about. But in all honesty, I don't think the Jake Paul fight will ever happen. I think it's entirely being pushed by John Fury to make his, uh, his son... A few quid because he won't make it in boxing. Something else that won't happen is my YouTube channel won't grow unless you like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Support the smaller boxing channels. Uh, we're going to follow this the whole way through. Everything that's happening with Jake Paul and uh, Tommy Fury as well as all the other celebrity boxing and uh, some of the more interesting pro stuff too. But let me know in the comments what you think. Will the fight happen? Is this all a... Uh, a fabricated from beginning and never going to happen is John Fury pulling the strings um, and what happens with Tommy after because no one's talking about him in the professional world nobody's saying oh I want Tommy Fury he's a good step up no one's doing it you're a fraud anyway bless you all enjoy the week's fights and uh, catch me in the next one